guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to recreate this bloody scene. I'm going to start off by using Kira Sky Bear With Me. I wanted to use a color that looked natural on me and I feel like this color is just it. I'm going to apply the nail polish on all my nails and I'll be applying two layers. So to create the blood, I'm going to be using multiple nail polish. So I'm going to be using Delicious, it's kind of like a dark red. And then I'm also going to use Chocoholic because I want to add a little bit of brown, you know, make it more realistic looking so it's not super bright red. And then I'm going to use Milk Bath just to kind of make sure that the color is not too, too dark and mix this in all together. I'm trying to aim for like that burgundy red, but then I realized it was too dark. So I went ahead and add a really bright red. In order to create that splatter look to it, we're gonna go ahead and add the color to the bottom of a straw and make sure that you do use a lot. And you're just gonna blow and this is how the splatter is gonna look like. So I want to create like a bloody handprint. So I'm just going to start off by doing the five fingers and then slowly go on and creating the whole hand. Kind of think when somebody got stabbed and then you just have blood running through your hands and then you just touch the wall. You know, that's, that's the kind of print I'm going for. be using a little bit of brown or black nail polish to darken up the handprint. And we're going to be using the same straw method here and you're going to see that I add black and that's just because I want where like a lot of blood is sitting at. You know usually it's a little bit more darker so I'm adding that contrast to it add my little knife in there and you guys this is really messy so make sure that you do have something underneath that you don't mind that gets dirty i just put paper here because i'll just toss it at the end of the day okay so my idea for this now was kind of like if somebody was being dragged you know like how they leave the handprints so that's what i'm trying to recreate here I kind of feel that it end up looking more like a wound than somebody getting dragged, you know? But regardless, I like it. I think it fits. I think it goes well with the look. 
And here's you'll actually see me like applying the black and the brown to darken up the corners. Which is why I kind of feel that it starts to look more like a wound. And this is my final look, you guys, for this bloody crime scene now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye!